Hello, and welcome to another episode of Mr. Kung Has Problems. Today we're going to start off our very first lesson in Module 4. Uh, and the first group of lessons in Module 4 are all going to be about lines and angles. So we have built some of our knowledge in previous grades, including especially third grade, and we're going to be extending that knowledge here in the first four lessons of Module 4 as we work with lines and angles. So we'll be, looking with, we'll be working with lines, segments, rays, angles, perpendicular lines and parallel lines, and we'll be trying to create as many of those things as we can. So let's take a look at uh, one of the big problems in the homework here for lesson number one. Now normally I do a couple of problems, but there are really only three problems in this homework set, and each of them contains a whole bunch of little subset problems. So I'm just going to do one of the subset problems, that's problem number two, but we'll do all of the parts, so all the parts from A through H. Now I have to add here that uh, writing on this tablet with a stylus is very imprecise, and so you will see my work and you will notice that it is sloppy. Uh, and so I expect that your work will be much more detailed than mine since you have access to a straight edge, which I can't really use on the screen, and since you're using a pen directly on paper or a pencil directly on paper, whereas I'm using this clunky stylus. So with that said, let's take a look at number two and we'll read together, okay? Use the following directions to draw a figure in the box to the right. Okay, let's take a look at number at two part A. Draw two points, W and X. So let me go ahead and get my pen here. And I'm going to draw two points, W and X. Maybe I'll draw a W right here. And maybe I'll put an X over here. Okay. Let's go to part B. Use a straight edge to draw the line segment WX. And you'll notice from our lesson today that, that the line segment WX doesn't have arrows on either end. So we're just going to draw directly from one point to the other and not do the arrow past it. So let's see, W and X. Oh, not too bad. There's WX, line segment WX. All right, fair enough. Let's take a look at number C. Draw a new point that is not on WX and label it Y. All right, fair enough. So let's see, we've got a new segment. I'm thinking we'll put something off in this area here. And we'll call that Y, right? And now we're told, let's see, what's our next part? So we've got our new point, we labeled it Y. Now we're supposed to draw WY, but notice here that when we read this, we see that there is no arrow on the W end, but that there is a little arrow here on the Y end. So we're trying to draw a line that starts at W and goes through y and goes on toward infinity. So this would be what we would call a ray, where it is opposed to the line segment wx. The line segment wx starts right at w and ends right at x. This one's going to start at w, but is going to go through y, but then on through into the future, or into the distance. So let's see if we can do that. We're going to start at w, we're going to go on past y, and we'll give it a little arrow, and there we go. That's the ray wy. Starts at w, goes through y. Awesome. Let's take a look at part e. Draw a new point that is not on wy or on the line containing the line segment wx and label it z. So let's see, I'm thinking we're going to put it out maybe out here somewhere. I don't know, maybe I'll put it here. Okay. So let's see, I want to get my thick pen again and I want to give it a spot out here and I'm going to call that z. All right, now let's move on to the next one. So we've labeled that Z. Let's go to F. Construct, oh, here we go, WZ. And now this time we're noticing that the line has arrows at both ends. So this is going to be a line, not a line segment. It's going to go, not, not start at W, go through W, and it's going to go through Z. So it's going to go through these two points, but it'll go past each one of them on both ends. So let's see, I'm going to switch to a little thinner thing here. And I'm going to say we're going to go like this. And we're going to go off in this direction too, right? So that is a line. That's the line WZ. It goes through W and Z, but it doesn't stop there. It goes on and on and on. So it goes out to infinity through Z, and it goes down to infinity through W. Okay, let's take a look. We're making good progress here. Identify the angle ZWX by drawing an arc to indicate the position of the angle. Oh, okay. I'm going to switch to a different color here. But we got to look at 
ZWX. And one of the things we remember about uh, identifying angles is that the middle letter, W, is sort of the middle of the angle. So our three points are Z, W, and X, when W is the middle part of that angle. So we need this whole distance, right? Everything from Z to X with W at the middle. So I'm going to switch to blue here and say, and I'll draw a little angle here, a little arc. Oops, didn't get all the way there. A little arc here that shows us the angle Z, W, X. And that shows the angle there. All right, again, good progress. Let's see, last thing. Identify another angle by referencing points that you have already drawn. Oh, okay, so we've got to find a different angle. So I'm thinking, let's see, we've got this angle right here, right in this part. Uh, it looks like a pizza slice. Um, so it's the angle, looks like the angle X, W, Y, right? W's at the middle. So I'm going to put that in red right here, and I'm going to write that down, that that is angle X, W, Y. And let's check our thinking there. X, W, Y shows me that W should be at the middle of that angle. And sure enough, there it is, right? W is at the, the heart of that angle. The X is one of the points on the side of the angle, and Y is pointed at the other. So X and Y, and W is at the middle. So that's angle X, W, Y. Excellent. Well, this has been only one problem from today's three-problem problem set, homework set. I hope it's been helpful, and I hope to see you again next time on Mr. Kung Has Problems. Thanks.